Hi, my name is Lisa and welcome to my channel. Today, I have got a fun project to complete. Today, I'm going to be using my Cricut Joy card mat to make a folded card. I'll be using one of the projects that you can find in my Cricut Design Space profile. And I'll also pop a link to the project in the description box below. At the time I made this video, everything I am using is included in the free version of Cricut Design Space. If it is the first time you're watching me, make sure it is not the last. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Let's get started. Today, I'm going to be using my Cricut Joy card mat and my Cricut Joy light grip mat to make a 14.8 centimeters by 10.5 centimeter folded card. I purchased these from Kmart in Australia. They are Anko branded. I'll pop a link in the description box below. I'm also going to need a piece of cardstock, anything roughly about that size, and we're going to use a quick cut on any mat. Let's get started. We're going to do this one the easy way. We're going to click make it. Now it's going to prepare my mats and it's going to ask me how I will load all of my materials for this project. Now the insert card will be cut on a regular mat and the folded part of the card will be cut on a card mat. So I'm going to select multiple ways and I'm going to select on a mat. Now you're going to make sure that wherever you line this up is where you're going to place your insert card for your cardstock on your mat. Now, if you keep using the top left-hand corner, you might wear out the top left-hand corner. So it's advisable to move it around your mat, but that's up to you. I'm gonna leave it in the top left-hand corner. Cut mat number two is on our card mat. Now this one we do need in that top left-hand corner. Now make sure you click on the mat that you want to produce first and then click on continue when you're ready. Before I press continue you want to make sure that your machine is turned on. You plug it in, make sure it makes all the correct noises and that that light is flashing. I'm also going to find my mats. I've got one lovely hard mat here and I have one lovely light grip mat for my other cut. Now the first cut mat it was saying was the card. We're going to take off our dust cover. We're going to pop our card. Now my other trick here is you've got to make sure that your card lines up with that blue line. If you push it all the way up to the top, you can lose up to a mil and it also moves around depending on where your card mat was aligned. So you want to make sure that that white, the top of the white card is, is on that blue line. So when you're ready, you want to avoid as many finger oils as you can on this card mat too. I like to use my scraping tool and give it a good stick to that card mat without touching it. My first card mat got lost to finger oils and scraping and all sorts of rubbish. Machines on, solid white light, open it up. Now we know it's going to ask for the pen first, so I'm going to change my pen over. So I'm going to use the pen that came in the box for all of the project. It's going to ask for a red pen and a blue pen, but I am going to use my black pen the whole way through. It's up to you, whatever colors you want. I've just set it up so that it's got two different colors so you can do two different colors. Okay, so I'm going to print the border this time. We're going to press continue. It's connecting, it's asking us to set our base material. I like to set mine to medium cardstock because my cardstock pack where I got my scrap from says the texture here, it's 210 GSM. Now I find I normally have to push more pressure on mine you might want to check that if you do it and it doesn't quite work. Try default first, see if you like it. That's up to you. Now it's asking us to load our blue pen, then it's going to say red pen, then five point blank. As I said before, I'm going to use my black pen for the entire way through. It is up to you if you want to change those pens over when prompted. 
it's asking me to load my map, so you have to make sure you completely unload your map first before you go ahead and load it in. Now it's checking for the materials. Now I'm going to go ahead and press go. And we're going to watch our machine do its magic. Now if you are following along and you don't want to watch my machine do its magic, go ahead to those chapters and keep skipping. Okay, now it's drawn our border and it drew it on the card and we're happy with where it drew and I'm not going to abort my project, so I'm going to push this red pen. I'm going to keep it, otherwise you can change your pen over. Now it's asking for my fine point blade. I'm going to go ahead, take my pen out, place the lid, pop my blade on, click it in, press go again, and watch my machine do its magic. Now that the cut's complete, it's asking me to unload to make our custom insert card. And now we're going to be asked to select our material. And today I'm using cardstock with the packet says that it's 210 GSM. So I'm going to select medium cardstock and I find that I don't get a clean cut unless I select more pressure. However, it is a risk that you will wear your mat out quicker. To make our custom insert card, I'm going to get the card stock and I'm going to pop it onto my mat using my scraper to avoid as many finger oils on my dirty mat as possible. Now if you've got any tips for me to clean that mat, go ahead and pop them in the comments box below. Now it's asking us to load our fine point blade and I'm just going to check mine is already loaded so I'm going to go ahead and load my mat and I need to make sure I completely unload my mat before I go ahead and load it. First, it'll check that it has enough material, and if you're happy and it's happy, it'll ask you to press go. Now that the cut's complete, it's asking me to unload, so I'm going to go ahead and press that unload button, and now it's weeding time. So it's time to weed that insert card off our mat. So the way I get the cleanest cut is if I fold up all four of those side edges first, take off the outer coating, peel the insert card off our mat carefully and try and avoid curling. 
Now it's a super exciting time. So we get to weed our card. So I'm going to just grab that card mat. I'm going to start carefully peeling off the card. Now the idea of these cards, according to Cricut, is that they will self-weed. But if they are not, you want to make sure that all the little bits stay on your mat. So I'm going to use my weeding tool to make sure that this happens. And we carefully, carefully keep peeling this card off to make sure that it does self-weed as much as possible and help it along where we can. And we're going to take out our card. It's looking pretty already, but we've got all of those scraps on that card mat. So we're going to scrape them off using our scraper. It's time to put our card together. So to put our card together, we need to take our custom insert card and pop it into each of the corners that have been pre-cut by our Cricut Joy. And there we have it, our finished card made out of budget material. If you liked the video today, please go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up for me. If it is the first time you're watching me, make sure it is not the last. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you are amongst the first to know when I release a new video. Thanks for watching.